Really the film is about resilience and it's a resilience movie about people uh, healing themselves together and of course uh, the French title is Revoir Paris and to me the attack was like a black hole sucking up the light and after this black hole she sees the, the city with a new <laughs> like uh, differently and um, she's, in, she's in limbo, uh, she's a stranger to herself, she's a stranger to the city but she, yeah, I think she follows a path of resilience, but not really knowing it. When you have been facing to death, you know, you start to ask yourself, what is life? It's more a film about life than about death. Right, right. It's really about what is happiness and, uh, and also what was really moving to me. Uh, when I went on forums and when I started to meet victims is how, you know, everyone was looking, at, uh, was looking for each other, trying to find the person uh, that uh, was um, like, uh, they exchanged just one look or just uh, the, they were holding hand for a moment and they were wa wondering if this person is still alive or and uh, it was something and they wanted to go back t to the place where the attack had happened and I discovered many things that was really really super moving and, and, and fascinating because it was a whole community healing together with this idea that you can't uh, really recover by yourself that you have to be together in <laughs> together to heal yourself and I think it was something really really strong and uh, that's what I wanted to represent in the film. People were the focused and uh, I was more interested in the traces uh, than in the attack. Uh, in the city also because uh, the city itself was wandered and in the people and it comes from a personal experience as my own brother was uh, in Bataclan um, and uh, luckily he survived, and, uh, but I was really inspired by the, the conversations we had the days after the shoot, the, the attack and uh, the months after. And um, I really could uh, observe on myself then how, you know, your memory deconstructed and reconstructed, you know, um, what happened. And um, I decided really not to represent the Bataclan attack itself. It's an, uh, an attack that had never happened in a French restaurant. But uh, I was uh, really nourished by all of those. I mean, of course, by, by what my brother told me and uh, my own memories as well, because um, I, was, I sent him an SMS that night and, and also uh, but I was nourished also by all the other victims uh, and this world of, of survivors uh, that I was able to meet um, with my brother. To me, what is important is that it's, it connects people from really different worlds that they, are not, they wouldn't have met if the attack wouldn't have happened. It's this idea of diamond in the trauma, which is the idea that, it's, that beauty can arise from tragedy and uh, in tragedy uh, that behind like traumatic events because uh, it's not only attacks but uh, there is people who have met, there is friendships, there is love stories and it's all of those bonds between people and me I was at home I sent an SMS to my brother and he said don't send SMS because uh, I'm hidden and I could be caught so what we did with my boyfriend is that we we had no news of him because you know there was the radio and and but no one knew what was happening so we shot everything and uh, we started to hold, hold hands and we lighted a candle and uh, what was amazing to me is that we had, because we prayed and my my editor who lived in front of Bataclan uh, he, w he could hear the riots just uh, in his street and uh, at a point he laid down with his girlfriend and they hold each other hand and I read many many things about this thing of holding hands and I asked a psychiatrist why is it that uh, people hold hands and she said you know it's, um, it's something it liberates oxytocin you know this hormone of uh, well-being, like it's the hormone, you know, when the mother is giving breast to um, 
the baby, then there's this feeling of something comforting and and uh, and she told me that's really something you do in those cases in this situation so that's why I really wanted to film hands in the film and that's why I finished on that image now I spoiled you the whole movie <laughs>